follow you around. Because he knows how I feel about him. This the mutual. former president. This is my brother from another mother. And he knows how I feel about him and how I feel about him becoming the next mayor of New York City. We have the right man. But Hashem, we have the right man. <laughs> Every holiday we change that. So, uh, so they adjust to according to the holiday, right? Before the holiday, they put out a special piece for that. Just holiday that's coming out. Got you. Got you. Very famous. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell us about the kettle. Huh? It's a kettle. Mm -hmm. so it's also it's, it's, it's also a very good show. Okay. Okay. With, so with, when we with sit the, at the seder uh -huh. and we are reminded about the slavery in Egypt, mm -hmm. uh, um, we're happy. Mm -hmm. We also remind God one day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are we are one. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Remember me? Recognize me. Oh, who could forget you? <laughs> nice New York City mayor. How are you guys doing? And to calculate, to do a horrific act during a time of the two most holiest days on our Christian and Jewish calendar, Hanukkah and Christmas. It sends a message that the goal is not only to harm individuals, but also to harm and destroy us as a community. And. You know, we've been saying for the last couple of months, it's just a matter of time. And that was not hyperbole. Um, and our pain is that it's, it's very obvious that it's becoming increasingly dangerous. I've been representing Paro Boro Park for the last 25 years. And every time that something strike, I want to make sure that I always there for you. To show that this is one people, we care for one another. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It happened in a different state, because what happens in Jersey happens in New York. It looks like there is a lot. They need a lot of new gun control laws, and for that we have to fight very hard to get the new laws intact. And that's where the borough president can come in and just scream about that. I want to thank Rabbi A. Frieden for organizing this press conference, all the elected officials which are here with us today. I love black people personally. There are a lot of good professors there and teachers there and policemen there. The same thing they should be taught, that we have a lot of good people and we're here to help each other and we never did anything wrong to anybody. Do you think Mayor de Blasio is doing enough to keep uh, people feeling safe and just at ease? Yes, the mayor is doing... Is doing um, I think again the anti-Semitic and the book and Eric Gonzalez, the DA, I know he's doing much more. He opened up a special a special uh, department in his office against the anti-Semitic and I hope it will help. I hope now after this what happened in New Jersey, people will wake up and we will stop, we will try to stop the thing what happened. And I had talks with some chiefs and lieutenants and whatever and I'm hoping they're gonna keep to the word because you know it doesn't help by having a police presence in front of the synagogue for, for two weeks and then they go away and then the bad people come right back. You have to have continuous security in front of all the synagogues. We're, we're living in a time unfortunately in a dangerous world and now I was with President Trump two weeks ago I spoke to him but I still stand on it's not about Democratic Republic it's about being united and I commend Mary de Blasio. Mary de Blasio knows who I am. He was very very great, great, grateful to the Jewish community. He made a press conference at Williamsburg, he made a press conference at City Hall, 
he came this morning to visit the family that was um, unfortunately murdered. He paid his respects. The borough president came out tonight on a cold night. You know, he has many other stuff to do, but he came out over here to show support.